Back her up. It didn't rub. That's good. Where? Oh, yeah, I mean, we could do that. No, we'll go that way. No, we can. There's probably a ton of traffic on that hill. Yeah, let's just go to the one over there. I wasn't going to go on that, though. I was going to go. No, there probably isn't traffic on that. Though. There what? There probably isn't much traffic on that. Alright, well, let's just go wherever. Alright, let's see how she, how she rips. You can go straight on. You're not going to scrape like the car. We're worried about rubbing. I'm scared. You're good. You're not going to hurt anything. You're good. That's just the rear. I don't know why the rear is rubbing. Just weird body flex, I guess. It didn't rub when I drove it, so we'll see. So hopefully the video got uploaded before this one of installing the rear lower control arms on this car. Uh, installing those were supposed to add camber to the top of the wheel, or in, in my mind they should have, uh, and tuck to the rear wheels rather than having them poke a little bit. So the fact that they didn't tuck now has them poking meaning they're gonna rub. So until we get upper control arms, there might be some rubbing in the rear. I can always just raise the fronts. The camera bolts up front worked wonders, but I just don't want it to look like crazy high, but we also don't wanna hurt the car. So we, we really need to find that sweet spot until we can bring those rear wheels uh, in enough to the point where they won't even touch anything. So for now, we just have to work with what we got. so good feels good you can see that that mad fitment back there let's see we're gonna stick the camera out of the car real quick what does our fitment look like up front Ooh, that's some good fitment though i mean like damn all these people and their boring cars it feels good to drive it again i know it's always nice to Especially after she's been down for a little while. If it does this and then it like scrapes every once in a while, I think I can deal with it. It's okay. Yeah, yeah that's it. I just need to make sure I can make it this Oh, you're good. You're only going to be there a couple more days. Look at that dog up there. Oh, it's out of focus, but there's a dog. He's, he's right there. He's a good boy. Look at that. Not a rub in sight, baby. Looking good until it just goes and rips the whole fender off. But you know, until we get to that point, we're good. I'm nervous to take this left. I took that right. Left. I know. I took the right. Though. Left. <laughs> All right, left. We'll see. Oh boy. There Stop. You uh, make me nervous. No, there's just we're just saying there's advance. This is this is our challenge here. Just go. You're good. Oh. Oh. What do you know? Put that left blinker on, baby. You go up in this hill, man. Yeah, boy. Be careful on this stuff, though. Was that the front or the rear? That was right here. <laughs> All right. Well, you live and learn. Just that stuff's kind of hard to uh, to ignore, but eh, that's not too bad. Look at that. Look at that camber up front. Ooh, ooh, this thing's mean. All right, so we made it back. I'm gonna grab our turtle wax super foaming car wash and i got a new mitt as well just because so overall the car actually did really really well so like in the um lower control arm video the fitment actually we did get it a little better the rears need the upper control arms there's nothing we can do about that but the fronts with the camber bolts is looking really good um, the ride heights actually doesn't look bad either i think overall it looks really really good Worshin, worshin the cur. 
use that two bucket method the only way worse so like I said just gonna wipe down these cars um, this one we're just gonna wash because it sits outside um, and actually get clean once we get it done we're going to uh, clean these wheels now the only bad part about these wheels is they suck to clean now my works are the same way any wheel with tons of like spokes like this suck but all cleaned up they look really nice and we're gonna do some tire shine this car really came out nice the stance is really really great I would like to squeeze a little bit more camber out of here um, but overall it's pretty good um, might notch the actual coilover and then like I said the rear I've heard that the upper control arms can get like 15 degrees which is outrageous so if we can get even like four we'll be golden so just gonna finish washing this car up All right, so the car is all dried and the only thing left are the wheels and tires. So what we're gonna do is I have the white wall cleaner. It is a mild wheel cleaner. The one that the other one that they sell is very abrasive and I don't wanna use on these wheels. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray it down, let it sit for a second and then spray it with water. And then we're gonna wipe it up with a microfiber and hopefully they're gonna look really, really good. Just go ahead and soak it. You can just go rapid fire. Just coat the wheel. Really, you can't use too much, you know what I mean? Good? Yeah, so we'll let this guy sit for a sec as we do the rest of the wheels. As she's going to continue to spray down the other wheels, I'm going to rinse these wheels because I don't want it to sit on there too, too long. All right, so the whole car is washed and the wheels are cleaned. The only thing left to do is tire shine, so I'm going to go ahead put that on and then we'll see what she looks like all right tire shine is on the car is looking so nice I mean it's just tire shine so it's nothing crazy but overall I love this car I think it looks so good the only thing we really need is a front lip which will come eventually we wanted to try to find one for tomorrow for the waterfront meet but the only one we could find were on ebay and no one locally had one they had one for an 11 to 14 wrx but 08 to 2010 is the narrow body so thanks to the narrow body i couldn't find a front lip for this car but not a big deal they're like 49 bucks on ebay so we'll definitely get one but i'm pretty hyped with how this car is sitting uh the rear like we said upper control arms but at the end of the day, very happy. The overall stance looks super good. I think it's just, it's, I love wheels that like poke, just shows it like aggression. I think it looks super, super good. So overall, super, super happy with how this car came out. And this video wasn't super crazy, like exciting or anything wild that happened. It was literally just like washing the car and driving it. But I'm trying to really upload a lot, lot more. And I hope that people like it and it shows and I grow a little bit and it's just a lot of fun. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see a lot of you guys at the waterfront meet. This is hopefully going to get posted before we go to the waterfront meet. Not many people are going to watch it uh, before, but this car will be there. The Sub My Subaru will be there, finally. That's why we rebuilt the motor. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have an awesome day.